look, man, I'm pretty hungover at the time of recording this. I don't really drink anymore, and when I do, it's it's incredibly painful the next day. I think it's an age thing, or it might be just that I'm out of practice, but I do not feel good. Also, there's no cure for a hangover. People say there is, but for me, it's just eat some food and go to bed for as long as you can. And I haven't done either of those things. Anyways, no, you didn't click on the wrong video. We're talking about stuff that was cut out of Black Panther. I hope I can make this coherent, and if not, Feel free to walk away, I don't blame you, you probably got some of your own stuff going on, and that's great, that's okay, but let's uh, let's do this. Plans for a Black Panther film extend all the way back to the early 90s, when a Wesley Snipes led version was in the works, but it encountered like, a number of problems that prevented it from happening. There were script issues, directors were in and out, and there was confusion by some people thinking that it was a movie linked to the Black Panther Party. In 2005, this was well before Marvel was at Disney, Black Panther was announced as one of the 10 films that they'd be producing and then being distributed by Paramount. Things got really serious though in 2009 when Marvel hired a bunch of writers to come up with creative ways to launch lesser known properties. And by really serious, I mean, the movie didn't come out for like another nine years. The initial idea was to have the film be a standard origin story, but it wasn't really working. Plus a lot of origin stories are bad and boring. Of course there are exceptions to that, like the first Iron Man and that gritty Robin Hood reboot that's coming out this year, which I'm sure will be just fantastic. Look, ugh. Look, it'll probably be better than the last Robin Hood origin and maybe even the one before that. And also the one where he was a fox. I don't know, was that an origin? I don't really remember anything beyond that bit where he's pretending to be a bird. Fun fact though, Mason, my podcast co-host for the Weekly Planet, he thinks that the lady fox is, is really attractive. And if you don't know who or what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But it's true, just, it's, just know it's true. Anyways, the point is, it was thought the best way to introduce the character was through Captain America Civil War, and so that's what happened. We get a sense of his powers and abilities, plus a small insight into his world, and then things would be further fleshed out in the movie Black Panther. Ever heard of it? If not only you've heard of Black Panther, but also saw Black Panther, then you'd probably remember that bit at the start, where there's a brief history of Wakanda, told in the form of vibranium sand, or whatever. That was actually a fairly late addition to the film, because in test screenings, there was some confusion about how Wakanda came to be. This is something that audiences eventually caught up on, but it was thought for the sake of clarity, a scene like this would help. Also, it ended up being Najobo telling his son the origin, but they also made a bunch of different versions. T'Chaka telling T'Challa, T'Chaka telling the audience, Shuri giving it a go, but it made the most sense to do the thing that ended up happening. Speaking of Shuri, that moment in the film where she grabs the panther guns was at one point going to have her in her own version of the Black Panther suit, which links to her character from the comics, who also becomes the Black Panther. There is though a bunch of unused designs popping up online, or in the book, The Art of Black Panther, including what Forrest Whitaker's character would have looked like before they cast Forrest Whitaker, what Forrest Whitaker's character could have looked like after they cast Forrest Whitaker, as well as alternate designs for Shuri, Nakia, some rhinos, some locations that didn't end up being used, an alternate look at weird Black Panther heaven, the first Killmonger T'Challa fight, as well as alternate designs for the Black Panther costume that extend all the way back to Civil War. Here's something, Ryan Coogler and Marvel toyed with the idea of including more Bucky in the film. On the Black Panther Empire podcast episode, they had a discussion about how handy having a trained assassin on ice would have been in the battle with Killmonger. It was thought though it might be a bit problematic having a white assassin murdering Wakandans in battle, so it was decided to not have that be a thing in this film. Bucky did obviously appear in the end credits, and there was a bit of back and forth concerning whether or not he was going to have his new metal arm, which we know he gets before or during Infinity War. They ended up going with, though, no arm, because it's representative of him stepping away from the role of the Winter Soldier and becoming more of a human man. As for the other post credits scene, the UN one, that was actually going to be at the end of the movie at one point, but it was thought, what would be more emotional and impactful? Him speaking at the UN or bringing the story full circle back to where Killmonger was essentially created. There was also a very early draft that saw the movie round out by him visiting the women who were rescued towards the beginning of the film, but that was also shelved. There was also one cut scene that was filmed and it very nearly made it into the final product that I was going to describe, but here's someone else describing it and also why it was removed. There is there is one scene in particular that I think a very, very powerful, very well acted scene between, uh, uh, between Okoye and Wakabi. 
So in the film, it is 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 more than hinted at that they are a couple. But there is a scene directly after Killmonger takes the throne where you where you hear both characters articulate their point of view as to why they should or shouldn't follow this guy. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it occurred at a point in the movie where audiences just wanted to get to the resolution, and so it slowed down a part of the movie uh, that that we were af- we were afraid audiences were checking out. We were also afraid if we took it out, we're going to ruin this movie. Guys, we're going to ruin this movie. Let's not do it. Let's not take it out. And boy, did it not, <laughs> boy, did it not affect the viewing. And in fact, I think it helped people enjoy the film more. So. Okay. There was also quite a bit of discussion concerning keeping Killmonger alive. But what it ultimately came down to was, is that these two opposing forces, T'Challa and Eric, can't coexist. So one of them had to be stabbed to death. There was also going to be a bit where Killmonger chooses his own Black Panther costume, but it was thought, hey, we don't really need to do this. Let's just give him one of the other ones that was already there. Okay, I think, I think, I think I'm done. For the sake of the YouTube algorithm, this should have been a 10 minute video, but I just, I, I don't have any me to do that today. So that seems really hard. Plus, I want to go, I'm going to go get something to eat. Hey, if you can think of something that's good for me to eat, why don't you leave it below? And please don't say something like, Hey, why don't you, why don't you eat shit? Because I, I won't do it. Also, if you have any thoughts on what should or shouldn't have been in Black Panther, please leave that below in the comments also. There's two things, uh, options. Okay, so there's videos here every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. So subscribe if you want any of that. Or better yet, listen to my podcast, The Weekly Planet, which I mentioned earlier. That comes out every Monday and we always talk movies and comics and TV shows. We did a Black Panther episode last week. You could probably start there if you want. All those things mentioned though, that they're all compiled along with more great content at planetbroadcasting.com. But thanks for watching this. I appreciate it. I'm sorry this video isn't better, but what am I... What, what are you, you going to do? Take care. <laughs>